In the portal view of the TIA portal project, click the Drive Parameterization button in the main menu. Click Parameter from the sub-menu and double-click Wizard from the working window. Select the Commissioning Wizard. The Commissioning Wizard opens. The first screen allows selection of the command and drive data sets to be configured. The initial configuration will be for data set 0 of each. Additional data sets can be configured later. Click Next to continue. Expand the selection to view all available control mode configurations. Select the control mode that meets the application requirements. Speed control without an encoder will be selected for the example. The graphical representation changes to encoderless speed control. Click Next to continue. The set point and command source window opens. Expand the menu to select the sources required for the application and select the correct option from the drop-down list. In this case, we will keep field bus as a source for our commands and set point. If a change is made, the Accept button must be clicked to enact the change. For field bus applications, the telegram type must be specified. In this example, Telegram 1 is the only option. If other options are available, choices can be made via a drop-down menu. Click Next to continue. Now we will need to enter our motor data. The motor selection window opens. Select the motor type and duty cycle to meet the application. When the selections have been made, click Next to continue. The Motor Configuration window opens. From the drop-down menu, choose how the motor data will be acquired. We will enter the data manually in this example. Select the motor type from the drop-down list and enter the data from the actual motor nameplate. With all motor data entered, click Next to continue. The system makes calculations and assumptions based on the data entered. An important parameters window opens with some of these values listed. Changes can be made as required for the application. When changes are complete, click Next to continue. Next, we must choose how the motor identification, sometimes referred to as self-tuning, will be carried out. Click Next to continue. When all data has been entered and options selected, a summary window opens. Review the information for accuracy and click Finish to complete the offline configuration. Change to the functional view. The offline configuration is complete. Save and, if desired, download the project.